In this video, we will learn how to find probability of a complement. Here we have to determine the probability of certain conditions. But the probability is of not getting certain thing. See now, if we read this problem, what is the probability of drawing a card from a standard deck and not getting a spade? In such cases, do normal probability of getting a spade and subtract it from one. So now, how many cards are there in total? A standard deck will always have 52 cards and not getting a spade. Spade, how many spades are there? It is 13 spa spades. Spade is a suit. It is something like this. This is the suit. And there is clubs, hearts and diamonds, right? So 13 spades. Each suit is of 13 cards. Total cards is 15. This is the probability of getting a spade. But we do not want a spade, so just subtract it by 1. This is the probability of a complement. So that would be the answer. You can just put in the calculator. It's 1 minus 1 fourth because 13 by 52 is 1 fourth. And we have 3 fourth. That is 75%. Now, you can just multiply here by 100 and you will get it in terms of percent. You will get 75 as the answer, 75%. So this is the answer over here, 0 0.75. So this is how we solve these problems. Just find the probability of that thing and then subtract from 1. Now we will do more problems. What is the probability of flipping a coin and not landing on tail? This is very simple because we know head or tail is just 50%. So not getting also would be 1 minus 50% is 50% itself. Half. This is easy. You will have to write in terms of fraction or decimal 0.5. If it's percentage, just multiply 100 to this. 13th one over here is Carmela purchased 10 raffle tickets. If 250 were sold, what is the probability that one of Carmela's ticket will not be drawn? Here she has bought how many? 10. Let's see what's the probability of her winning. Divided by total, 250. Just do 1 minus that. That's it. Find the probability because we know it's 10 out of 250. But we, we have to find not that's the complement not being drawn so one minus that that will be the answer here they have asked us to find the probability of spinning a spinner number from one to six and not landing on five so there are six total possibilities we don't want it to land on one uh, sorry five so what is the probability of landing on five it's only one out of six because five is just a single number so one minus one by six that will be the answer you can write the formulas that's probability of complement A equals 1 minus probability of A. Here we have been told a survey found that 90% of junior class is right-handed. If one junior is chosen at random out of 100 juniors, what is the probability that she is left-handed? Now here 90% are right-handed, so obviously 10% will be left-handed, so answer is 10%. You don't need to solve this exactly because you know it's direct, you know, so you can directly tell it percentage we are finding. So it's 10 percent. Roll bought 24 raffle tickets out of 1,545 tickets sold. So he has bought 24 out of so many. What is the probability that he won't win? He won't win is 1 minus 24 by 1545. That's the answer. At Riverview High School, 120 students were asked whether they prefer a lion or a timber wolf as the new school mascot. What is the probability that a randomly selected student will have voted for lion as the new school mascot? Now, it's not uh, it's it's not complement probability. They have asked for lion. So, don't do 1 minus here. It will just be 78 out of the total. Total is 120. So, it's 78 by 20. 120, sorry. 78 by 120 is the answer. Again, all these are very easy. In Evans' senior class of 240 students, 85% are planning to attend the college after graduation. What is the probability that a senior chosen at random is not planning to attend college after graduation? You don't even need to solve anything. 85% are planning to attend, so 15 are not planning. The answer will be 0, uh, 0 0.15 or 3 by 20. That's 15%. You don't need to solve all this because this is an MCQ, so directly you can write these answers. Now, the Venn diagram shows the cast members who are in Acts 1 and 2 of a school play. One of the students will be chosen at random to attend a statewide performing arts conference. Let A be the event that a cast member is in Act 1, 
and let B be the event that the cast member is in Act 2 of the play. So you can see over here Act 1, all these, Act 2, this much. You can see there are two overlapping, that is Amy and Alex, they are in both. Find A intersection B, that is Amy and Alex, they are the answers, A and B, uh, Amy and Alex. Now next one, what is the probability that the student who is chosen to attend the conference is a cast member in only one of the two acts of the play? Now here, other than Amy and Alex, all are only in single act. So Kate, Paige, Brad and Garrett are only in act 1, whereas Tyron, Walter and Fran are only in act 2. So you can just count these numbers. It's 7 by total number is uh, 9. So that's the answer. Or you can do one more thing. We know Amy and Alex are in both. So 1 minus 2 by 9 would be the answer. That would be 7 by 9. Both are the same answers. You can see the answer over here. It's 7 by 9. 7 are only in one single act divided by the total number. Lare is playing a game that uses a spinner. What is the probability that the spinner will land on a prime number on a next spin? So we need to see which are all the prime numbers here. 29, it's a prime number. 53 is a prime number. 47 is a prime number. 19 is a prime number. 37 is also a prime number. 23 is also a prime number. 40. Okay, all are the prime numbers over here. So basically it's 100%, uh, you know. No matter what, what you spin, you will land on a prime number. So the probability is 100%. Or 1. It's 7 by 7. Because all are prime numbers divided by the total numbers. 7 by 7. So that's how we solve it. This is an easy one. It's just the complement of probability. Remember, if there is too many things to do, just do 1 minus that probability. It's easy. Otherwise, read and interpret the problem and directly answer it out.